So I opened the mail today and I got a package from Jet Pens. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, and I've been waiting a long time to get these products, so I thought I would just do a little bit of a review. Um, I still haven't gotten my camera set up completely, so I'm just using my phone for now, but um, here it is. So firstly, I got a um, brush that is a Sakura Pigma, and it's kind of like a brush pen and different than their microns. And then I got this new pencil case because my old one is getting dirty. <laughs> I will show you that in a, another video of um, a what's in my pencil bag kind of reveal. <laughs> but I really like it and the concept of rolling it up. <laughs> and this is the big thing for me is the Pentel pocket brush pen which is pretty famous as being the most like beloved brush pen of all. And uh, it costs quite a lot, but I am very excited to try it out. And this is the Aquash um, water brush pen. Um, and I've been looking forward to that too. And here is the Uniball white gel pen. <laughs> also another favorite amongst a lot of artists. So here's a picture that I was doing a bit um, over the summer that I still haven't finished, but I figured I would use it as a test run to try out these new products. So firstly I'm unscrewing this and inserting the actual ink refill. And it kind of takes a while to get started, so I had to let that rest on the side. So I went on to test my white gel pen on colored paper so you could see it. And it's very smooth and is very consistent with how it comes out on the pen, so I'm very happy with it. Everything I thought it would be. And here is the Sakura brush pen. It's also pretty nice. And it's definitely something that would probably be more affordable for other people instead of the Pentel, because that's like $14. Now, I forgot to buy an art syringe, so I wasn't able to actually put in the ink that I wanted to test out with this, but I will probably do that for another video. But here is basically how you could fill it up with water or ink or Copic refills or anything. And that's my Windsor & Newton ink that I wanted to use, but then I completely, completely forgot. <laughs> so now my Pentel Pocket Brush Pen is finally done loading its ink and it's very smooth and I'm doing it very slowly so it doesn't have the um, actual brush marks and I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> Here's also a black, uh, black paper bag so you can see the white on there. And then I wanted to do a few different strokes of thick and thin with the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. And then just going over it with the white ink to see that it completely covers. And this is an acrylic painting and it glides over just effortlessly. 
and it's just a very nice tool to use. I um, still haven't tried an actual test of inking over a pencil drawing, but I will do that in the future. But as you can see, I'm doing these little details uh, within the painting, and even though it is quite a large brush, it still is able to get those fine details. Just takes a lot of control over it. <laughs> I also wanted to try the white gel pen on the paint, and it is equally as successful and it is a great tool to cover up any mistakes, as well as add highlights and other sort of details. Anyway, uh, that's the end of the video, and thank you for watching. Bye bye